This one's about wiring for fresh air dampers. A little bit of background. Fresh air dampers are, uh, they began putting them in about 1990 or so, at least where I live they were. Uh, the houses were getting tighter and there was a concern that the house did not get enough fresh air because of the tight houses. So they put in these fresh air dampers and what they would do is they'd open an outside damper uh, just going straight to the outside and they would turn the fan on. So they would run for, you know, they started out two hours, ended up eight. Uh, and they would also use an exhaust fan in the, uh, in the home. I didn't want to put the exhaust fan on this one. I didn't want to complicate it any more than I had to. Uh, so I didn't put that in. But uh, there would be an exhaust fan that ran at the same time as the, uh, uh, as the indoor fan. Now the damper, uh, there was a pipe run through this damper to the return air of the furnace. And so it would bring in that outside air. And of course the exhaust fan would exhaust some air. So it kind of changed the air in the house. Okay. Now this is a kind of a wiring diagram on this. If this is not done correctly, you have a really nasty problem. When the timer right here changes position, it'll turn on the air conditioner. Now what it's doing, I didn't put the thermostat wiring inside here because here again I didn't want to complicate it anymore. The If I energize G from down here somewhere, it will feed back through G and go to Y and start the contactor. So it actually turns on the air conditioner every day. And on these newer ones, it's for eight hours a day. And you know, this well, one thing damage your air conditioner it does in the wintertime. But uh, so we came up with this way to eliminate that problem. And it's actually pretty simple. And let's look at how it would normally work. Okay. I got a control board here. I didn't put all the terminals on the control board. I've got a damper here and I've got a single pole double throw relay here. Okay, and I've got a timer here. Now the timer is operated by 120 volts, but this part of it is all 24 volt. So in the normal position, not where there's any, uh, uh, where the timer has changed position and opened the damper. Let's follow how it goes. Uh, from R, if there's uh, a connection to G, like the fan is turned to the on position, and power would travel through here, through here, through here, to G on the board, through this normally closed set of contacts, and it would energize the fan. Now, let's look at it when the timer uh, closes position. I've highlighted how the power passes through this thing when a timer changes position. Okay, from R, we're going to pass to three in the timer, the timer has changed position from number five to number four. Power will now pass down to energize the damper. You've got C hooking up on the common side. So that'll start the damper, that'll open the damper. The relay will energize, which will switch this, uh, this switch from the position of up here to down here, which will allow power to pass through here, through here, and over to G to energize the fan. What it will not do is allow any power up to G at the thermostat, which could back feed and go through the air conditioning uh, and, and energize the air conditioning contactor. So that's pretty much it. Uh, 
I mean, there's there's more to it if you put the the outs or the exhaust fan in and the fans and all this. But this is basically how it works. And if you get this thing put in backwards, uh, or you don't consider that fan going through the thermostat, you will end up with the air conditioner turning on when the uh, outside air damper comes on. Hope this one helps.